morning. Yeah, we're here. Yep, we'll be done. Okay, awesome, see you soon. This is our cabin, where we've been living without modern day luxuries, like electricity and water. We're working towards being self-sustaining off-grid. Now they can get in, let's go. Today is the day that we get the foundation for our 10 kilowatt solar array. Fingers crossed we have no problems getting screw piles in the ground. As you all know, our terrain is pretty rocky. We're all here for the show. <laughs> this is all of our first time watching screw piles go into the earth. Are you excited? Yeah. It could take a while because we do have some pretty rocky terrain out here. So we'll see how it goes. You think it's gonna work? Hopefully. This could be the most exciting day of my life, or not at all. Could be the worst day. The worst day ever. That's what you call a rock. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. That's a big rock. Definitely a little bit of a spooky start. Hitting rocks already on the first screw pile. Might not be a good sign. Well, that is a small car. It did not turn out as we thought it would. When we woke up this morning, we were very excited to see some screw piles go into the earth and they've left. So yeah, they're on their way out and that's because this terrain is far too rocky for these screw piles. And when I'm talking rocks, we're talking, this could be the bedrock, like we don't even know. Like these boulders are so big, it just doesn't look like they have an end almost. And so we do have options, but it's a lot to think about. <laughs> a lot to think about. And we're just not there yet. So come back to this another day, I guess. Literally. We had a feeling this could happen. We knew it was a possibility. But we can still maybe do the post. It just really depends. We need to weigh out all our options, call around, price around, talk around, figure out what we want to do. Today we are gonna be bopping around the yard once again, going from the back of the house to the garden area. Right now, Porter is actually digging the trench as we're gonna be putting a French drain down there. Also, this is really cool because not only is the water going to not pool here anymore and go into the forest, but we are actually going to be planting a berry garden on that side of the house. Well, Porter doesn't need us right now. We can't all fit in the excavator. So, I'm gonna go over there and start helping Krista. Well, when one project doesn't go as planned, there are many others to choose from, and our goal is to turn this area into a beautiful garden. So we are self-sustaining and eating our own food. Woo! Behind me, last week we planted all these beautiful tomato plants. We are going to go ahead and build with the rest of what we have now, and we're gonna hope that we're gonna get some more wood in this week, and we can continue this dream garden. garden. <laughs> Whoa, yo, give it a, a walk on the runway through the gardens. Let's go. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Tomato. So this right here is Porter's little machine. It has replaced Crystal and I, so he no longer needs our help. <laughs> Basically, it allows him to know the exact level. Porter goes with his little pole and he can tell exactly where it's level. So this is gonna make sure that the slope of the trench is perfect for runoff. Pretty cool. Okay, we in the sun. by week surprises me just how much we can learn and how many new things and techniques that we can do out here to make living out here better. So we're doing a French drain as Jasmine explained to you and it's such a simple traditional way of diverting water away into another area and it's so effective. It's no more than a trench, some rocks and a couple 
pipes, really. So all the water, like you can see, just pools right here. So now it can drain straight into this perforated pipe, the next perforated pipe, and then it just goes all the way into the forest where our berry bushes are. Away from the cabin, away from the deck and all of the materials here, into the woods. It's the way to do it. Have to say this morning, woke up, didn't know we were gonna have French drain. All of a sudden we have one. cool that I got to be able to learn how to do a French drain like the knowledge you learn out here is absolutely wild I love learning these skills so cool all right back to your favorite area are you ready to live some way are you ready to rumble Crystal and I never argue well actually I bicker Crystal just listens seriously who needs a gym <laughs> <laughs> Some hard work. Should have seen the way they were taking those off the truck. Can't even carry half of one. Well, just did. Some real good work there. It literally comes in every box we make. Anything we're doing, bear. Do you love the rectangle? What a character. Sit down, man. It hurts so much. Come here. Oh my god, it hurts so much. Come here. That was a good fall, though, eh? Yeah. I caught it on camera. Yeah. You saw it right away, too. Yeah. Oh, me. My first thought is I can't build the rest of the garden. Are you on elevate? I think you're done. Oh my. God, no. What, what was I do? doing? I don't know. I think I just jumped off, but then I hit a huge stone. Did you jump off? Yeah. Okay. And then I hit a stone and it just rolled. Yeah. Her whole skin looks a little green and yellow. Oh, God. Where did it fall? It hurts so much here. You're, you're like shaking. Man. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Yeah. Oh. Brutal, man. That was a good one. Yeah, it was. <sighs> Just keep your foot in the marker. It's really cold. <laughs> it's really nice. Do you want ice right now? Like, do you want to yes, go elevate? Soon. I'm gonna go over there soon. <laughs> yeah, just relax. Take a deep breath. Mhm. Mm yeah. I'm gonna watch that back now. I'm gonna watch it back. <laughs> <laughs> Instant anxiety. Ready, everyone? Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Instant replay laughs. I am. <laughs> I bet everyone's laughing just as hard as I am. <laughs> well, it still hurts, you know? It's, it's, it's like a laugh, laugh, laugh cry still. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. All right. Oh, it's good footage, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've had enough. I'm going to hop hop around for a little bit. No, no, you're going to the couch. Yeah, Crystal's the worst to make chill. Like, Lily should be <laughs> puking sick and she'd be like, all right, so where are we going today? I'm like, you're going to bed. <laughs> Like no. Oh, uh, that sucks, eh? Hey? Ready to get carried? No, I'm not. I'm moving right now. I'll get there. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. I'm just gonna. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. 
How are you feeling? Like breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm bored. <laughs> bored already, you know? She bad. She bad. <laughs> Brutal. Just like annoying. Like you can't do anything. It's the, also the driving foot. Like, oh, yeah, I could Crystal actually, said, this is my driving foot. But if you make me crutches out of the wood we have in the stockpile, and you just put little towels out of you, I could get to town. Challenge accepted. You have to drive. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's a good day to be hurt, though, because... Rain. I want to show you all the French drain. <laughs> We've got to rake it out a bit, but look at that. There is no water anymore here. Wow. That is so nice to see. It's kind of ironic that today it's been raining on and off all day. I can no longer walk and I have my therapy appointment this evening, which is a really good thing and a huge relief because I'm sitting here and now that I'm bedridden, I'm starting to stress out about how quickly winter is approaching and all of the things we have to do. And I'm itching to get out of this bed. I've been taking therapy for a while now and my therapist gives me tips and tools to help me in stressful situations. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. That's Better H-E-L-P. BetterHelp is customized online therapy, which means I can phone, live session, or video chat, or even message my therapist right here from the woods or today from my bed. I don't have to leave. If you're feeling stressed, depressed, overwhelmed, or anxious, BetterHelp is here to help. Within 48 hours, you can connect with your therapist and send unlimited messages. You brushed your hair. <laughs> they look nice. <laughs> Not only do you connect with your therapist quick, but BetterHelp actually makes it easier to jive with your therapist. So basically when I started, I filled out a form, which was basically what I wanted in a therapist. And then they matched me up and I love Pamela. But also if you don't drive right away, which I think could be really rare with this questionnaire, you can request a new therapist, which is always good because you need to feel safe when you're in therapy. And that's the number one goal. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash vanwives and get 10% off your first month. <laughs> oh, your back That was my shoulder. <laughs> your ankle it's good it's getting better i mean elevation and ice i know for sure it's not broken but it is for sure sprained <laughs> we've re-watched the video and laughed extremely hard at both the twist but ja and my reaction but also you singing to izzy in the utv <laughs> hilarious and these things definitely happen super disappointed we can't finish the garden beds this week because that was obviously the goal and it's hard it's hard to chill and just to put your foot up and elevate it and ice it it's hard to get her to chill like i'm literally <laughs> constantly like stop hopping around just chill i don't know how. if this was me i'd be chilling on netflix all day <laughs> i actually <laughs> i haven't watched a single netflix you can't episode. chill no i can't it's so annoying having to sit still so chris has had a lot of downtime she decided to do a questionnaire on Instagram. Also, we've asked our patrons and we've noticed a lot of comments lately asking, what are y'all doing out there? Yeah. It's been a while since we've done this and we've sat down and let me tell you, this is gonna be one steamy Q&A. Steamy. Not only because of the questions, but also because we're roasting out here. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Do you prefer van life or cabin life? I would say they're both extremely different. As much as they are similar for us, they are also so different. When we're here, we're constantly tending to things. There's projects on the go. I like cabin life better, personally. It's just different. We're yeah. creating our own home out here and there's so many components. Whereas van life is exploration, it's travel, it's meeting people. We aren't doing that here. They're different. I like we're them for the, different the reasons. six blue jays we've yeah. uh, attracted. <laughs> I do feel though, after many years of van life, if we live on the road for four years. For, yeah, for a long time. We've yeah. really settled into the cabin. Will mm -hmm. we go travel in the van again? Maybe, uh, yes, 100% yeah. one day, but, but not, not for right now. Not right now, but not for long periods of time. Also the girls. Oh yeah, that's a big factor is the girls are getting older now. 
That brings us into another question. I'm sure a yeah. lot of people have asked how old Bella and Izzy are. Yes, Bella is nine, Izzy is eight. Yeah. So they are getting older and like those long drives and just not having a place really to call theirs, like a backyard where yeah. they can just like go and chill. I think being in Mexico this winter, we really noticed and it's something I don't really know if I want to put them through very long periods of time anymore. Yeah, we have noticed they, they're all, they've also settled in at the cabin and they do seem so content. They just wander around her. without leashes or collars and sleep under the trees and it's a really beautiful thing. Go swimming thing. in the river, the lake. Yeah. And Bella's got all the rocks here, yeah. so. Do you get scared at night? The only time I would ever get spooked is like if we were out here and I was like, say, walking to the outhouse or walking out here at night and Bella just starts barking, that might scare me. It's more her yeah, bark. She, she barks at random things that just fly by. They're like very protective. A twig. I, I don't we know. We haven't seen anything, but apparently we're in the honeymoon stage for animals, so they're gonna find us soon and they're never gonna leave. Yeah, and then we'll have Which, to start protecting our crops and you yeah, know. that's why we don't have any fences up yet because we have a little bit of time. So if you look at the aerial shots of the cabin, there is so much land for them, for the wildlife to yeah. roam. There's lots of wild habitat. They're, yeah. They are not, they don't feel the need to be here when they hear the dogs and hear us. Like there's yeah. just so much forest for the animals to be. That being said, people have seen bears in the area. Like Justin said, where you are in the honeymoon stage, there is potential for them to start also, wandering this way. But the dogs do, I would have to say, probably keep them away. Also, we don't pick up our dog poo. Yeah. So that way they smell the dogs and then it's just there. So if you ever come over, watch your feet. <laughs> when is the garage getting here? <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting on that for a long time. It's over a month due, hence why yeah. we like flattened that pad, got it all ready so fast, but it's just the way of the world right now. You yeah. can't really, I mean, we've got plenty of other projects, so it really doesn't matter. Sure, it would help a lot, but. It's kind of the story with a lot of the things though, like things are just simply taking longer. And so we're just rolling with the punches. That's exactly. why, you know, one week we're doing something that may not seem of priority, but that's just because we're waiting it's on materials. It's the only thing you can do at this yeah. point. <laughs> Looking back on all the projects, are there any jobs you wish you hired out rather than doing it yourself? Uh, yeah, the roof. <laughs> I know. Actually, no. no, I would probably not do another roof. I would avoid it. I would try to avoid it. However, you save literally so much money doing it yourself. Yep. The first side went amazing. The second side went amazing too. It's just there's a second side and we had to be up there. Heights, it just, I don't, they make me get in a really bad mood to be honest because I'm like scared. scared. So at first I'm scared and then out comes frustration. Yeah. So. There was a lot of it's fear. It's about being aware about that though. And I think I wasn't aware about that before. But now that I've taken therapy, I'm more aware of that. So <laughs> it's true. It's true. Awareness. But yeah. like, I think if I did a roof now, knowing myself more and like how I react, I think I could do it better, but it was really challenging. But I would say that like 90% uh, of the time we enjoy doing things ourselves because it always goes better. We have, we then know how things are working, how they're run, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Because living out this far, if something ever were to happen, we kind of no need to know us. how to do it on our own. Like we calling people out here is not very easy. No one wants to come. Which I kind of understand. Yeah, so but it's I, always been a priority for us to do it ourselves and to learn because that's where we feel the most alive, I would say. Yeah, be I would be so disappointed same. if I didn't say I laid my own roof yeah. or I drove an excavator or I did anything. Yeah. It's all about doing it, you know? Yeah. You just gotta do it. It's very empowering. So, no. Do you plan on living in the cabin year round? If so, do you plan on getting a plow? Great question. We want to live here year round. Without really a do. doubt, we want this place to be four seasons. We want it to be accessible for even our family and our friends. And I just want to see it in all four seasons. Yeah. I think it's such a special thing that we yeah. get to see all four seasons and to see this cabin in it, it will just be amazing. Winter is My long. mom's calling. Okay. Hello, I'm just filming a Q&A. Can I call you right back? Winter, however, is very long and it can be intimidating when you're living off grid and this far out. Being this remote, we need to plan and actually we have quite a few stages and steps that we need to accomplish before yeah. the snow falls. It's actually very dangerous if we don't complete these steps to stay. Like very dangerous. Like not just challenging, like it can be dangerous. Like mm -hmm. it, it can't be safe sometimes if, if yeah. we didn't get these steps done yeah. due to the roads. Like, yeah, you want to be prepared because you, have to. you can't be driving in and out of here all the time as if you do in the summer. I'm, like, no. You need to take your time and you need to have Slow like down. water, electricity, the a correct amount of cord of firewood. Like there's just so many things to think yeah. about. How did you meet and how long have you been together? Oh, I love that question. A whole hand. High five. Pretty soon it'll be 10, but it's just five. Five years. Just kidding, you can have your hand. Five years, almost six. Um, and we met at work actually. Serving. Yep, we were- That's what we did before this. Slinging pies, pizza. Pizza pies. Yeah, pizza pies. And yeah, Beer. we were just 
we were friends first and we just got along really well and it, we just it just happened really like that it clicked it was one night the stars aligned Does it, they did align well to be honest i was like hey jazzy you want to go out and <laughs> she was like, on me. Mm, yeah maybe and so we flipped a coin I was it landed on heads i went out the rest is history the rest is history next question how do you find downtime to connect as a couple with all the work going on? That is such a good, good question. question. That is something that we are constantly talking about and working, and working on. on. We probably talk about it once a week. And I think More. actually the most important thing when it comes to that question is having open communication with your partner because our communication is so open we're constantly vocal about things going on yeah. in our own lives and together as a couple. It's just and important to put the camera down. Like for instance, that's why we didn't film those eight days. Like yeah, it wasn't mm -hmm. just us two, it was us and friends and family. But yeah. It's really important to know that you can't just sh shoot it all, you know? Yep. You have to. And boundaries, creating boundaries are very yeah. important. Things are changing constantly. There's different yeah. chapters in everyone's lives and you know, sometimes things are you more challenging adapt. than others. Yeah. So the adapt yeah. of the week. Um, but we don't have a magic answer. We don't. I wish. I cast a spell on all of you. What part of the interior are you most excited to renovate? Kitchen. Yeah. I can't wait to be excited to cook again. Like, yeah. to be honest, I'm dreading like cutting any vegetable in there mm -hmm. because I don't even have a counter. You have like the fridge and the stove now, but which is amazing. Without the water, dishes and things like are complicated. Like it, it's just not. It's a, it, we're roughing it. Yeah, it's it, one hundred percent. It'll be really great to be able to focus on nourishing our bodies and having the space or environment to do it. What are you most surprised about living off grid in the forest? I would say the thing that surprises me most about living out here is what it does for me mentally and physically, and I'm not surprised by that, but. But I do think that it's important to be in nature more and that's what surprises me I guess is just like sometimes how much we all lack just simply taking a walk down to the river or a walk in the woods mm -hmm. or just finding yourself out here. It's really good for mental and physical health and so that kind of surprises me a little bit. I guess what surprised me the most is how many steps there are involved in every <laughs> single thing. <laughs> that's true. Because I've never built anything other than a van, yeah. any skateboard ramp. What is your process for learning something you've never done before? Go on the internet. Becoming interested to begin with. Oh, great. You're like, a teacher. That is interest. Yes. Expressing Passion. Yeah. <laughs> Gold star. Expressing interest in anything out here is the first step. Like the, the second we want or think about something, then we begin the researching process and yeah. Yeah. Research. Books obviously help, but the online world is so amazing. YouTube, YouTube like Reddit, forums, any type of like that. I, I don't know. I like going to those things. I feel like you get more real world experience of someone that did something this way and be like, it didn't last. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also community. We often reach out in our videos and ask questions. People yes. respond to them in the comments. That helps us so much. So much. Because the people who are responding are speaking from experience and that's amazing. Asking, Asking people in your community because yeah. everyone has different environments. So the way someone does something in Florida or someone does something in California In Australia Or too. Australia, yeah. like with termites and stuff, like that's a big one Is completely different than how we do it here yeah. So I think like talking to your community here yeah. really, really helps Do you ever get discouraged of being so isolated? If so, what pushes you through? That is something that I... I we recently just had I would say we have never experienced until this month actually We've never really felt like this feeling of like isolation or want for like to be closer to a city or to like our our group of people, friends and family. We were at Pride in yeah. Toronto, then my mom was here and just like being around the ones you love the most is just like, it's such a great feeling. So when we came back here and it just was us two, we were like- It was an adjustment. We were like, what are we doing? For the first time ever. <laughs> first time ever. Yeah, it's, it's, just, inevi it's inevitable. Yeah. Like humans need other humans. So yeah. I think as soon as we get this place like more up and running, like yeah. I just can't wait to have everyone yes. out here. Like, yes. let's all go. That's what let's I'm- have, Yeah. Let's just everyone come on out. That's the- All 275,000 of you are invited to the cabin in the woods. Okay. I'm dripping, Jazz. Are you sweating? Come on. Are you cooled off yet? <laughs> you would hate me if I did that to you. Or even. <laughs> what project are you most looking forward to? Electricity. Do you enjoy content creation and do you see yourself continuing it, continuing it for some time? Such a good question, absolutely. Yes. There's nothing we love more than being in this space creating content since the beginning it's just been absolutely so fulfilling love like absolutely love every aspect to it yeah there's every not aspect. there's not a part that we don't enjoy and i never want to stop making videos and i never thought we would be making videos Ever. and that we love it this much is like it just shows 
it just like proves that you can literally find so many passions any time of your life yeah. because I didn't even know how to work a camera or you didn't have anything. We didn't yeah. own one. And we are very private people. I never imagined myself putting my life online and sharing what You're I do. You're private on Instagram and I didn't have a YouTube channel. So yeah. it's it's interesting to now be in this place where we are yeah. sharing so and much. so thankful that we are. So thankful. I would never change anything. Let's keep creating. So as long as you all keep watching, we'll be here, okay? <laughs> Sunday, 9.30 a.m. EST. Appreciate all of you. Support Subscribe! Us. What is the surface area slash size of your property? We, we have, have... Go ahead. <laughs> 15 acres. One thing you love about each other. That's a really cute question. I'm gonna start because I know what I love about you. <laughs> well, I hope. I love so many things, but what I would say, like the one thing I love so much about Jasmine is her drive, her want, her energy to just do and keep going. For example, moving into the van, like, she just went for it. She just goes for it. It inspires me so much to do the same. It's only because I listened to her though. Like she was telling me like what her dream life would look like and she wanted to be like a world traveler. And I was like, how can you make this dream come Crystal's reality and my reality? Because I really like this. And I had dogs and I was like, how do we travel dogs? And then I just did some research, found Kit Whistler and said van life. <laughs> I love Crystal's heart that like whenever anyone is here, not only does she love Bella and Izzy and I so much, but when anyone's here, she always puts everyone like first and like is just the best person to everyone she meets. And also like your heart is just so pure. You just never judge or about anyone. Like you're constantly just like a good human. So sweet. Are you crying or something? You'd never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you honestly are. Like you just That's like sweet. you see everyone as like a wholesome human and you just treat them everyone like equally because that's what we are we're all just humans walking this planet and you're just you're so open to everyone and you make everyone feel like safe hardest and best part about building your cabin in the woods <laughs> the best part is just all the skills that we're learning and also like the bond that we're creating with each other oh, i think cool too, is yeah. really is really neat because I mean, if we can get through this together, we can really just get through anything together. The hardest part about being off grid and building the cabin is the entire thing itself. Being off grid and doing living this way is very challenging. Yeah. And I answered this the other day on Instagram. The best part is how the worst parts make us feel. You know, all of those challenges and moments of vulnerability and you it's don't like, have electricity or you don't have heat or you don't have a bathroom at all. Like Yeah, they what So that's why we were so excited about the outhouse, everyone. You don't <laughs> haven't had a bathroom. So all of those things though, like all of those challenges and vulnerabilities, they just provide you, they make you grow, they make you stronger and that's the most beautiful thing about this lifestyle is the uncomfortable moments make you a better person. So that's what I would say. Well said. <laughs> How long are you planning to live at your cabin? I would love to live here forever. I think yeah. that the more time that we spend here and the more energy that we put into the projects, the more, we, the just more wanna... we never want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> like when we were going through that thing at Pride, we were like, oh, I want to be closer to friends and family. But then like after three days, we were like, how do we ever think that? Like we were like, no, this is perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect. They should all just come move here. Yeah. But that won't happen. I would say that we want to keep this place forever yeah, we keep and it. forever and I ever. don't know if we'll necessarily live here forever and ever because we like constant change and challenges. Yeah. But I'm sure there'll be a time in our life where we'll want to see something else or be somewhere else but or this will always be our home base and our heart our I imagine. first actual house yeah. that stands on ground yes. not wheels with that let's get this healed so we can build some fun projects there's lots to come yeah and i hope you enjoyed the q a i hope that we answered the majority of the questions yeah. you have this has been a long time since we've done something like this if you liked it please let us know because this is something we could do on a six months or a yearly basis i know a lot of people have questions so it feels good to answer them i really. have questions what are your questions? When is your ankle gonna get better? I want to build. Just kidding. I'm kidding, everyone. It's just a sprain. It'll get better soon. Okay, bye. We love you all. See you next Sunday. Love you all. Shade. Here, yes, Shade, baby. Yeah. Hop. Oh, video. this is awkward. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, the okay. Crocs. The Crocs. Sweet. Whoa.